Hey everybody, I am back with another tool review. So the last one I did was the roster extractor and how to import your entire uh, roster sheet into msf.gg as well as the group tool. And now they, uh, from the creators of all that, uh, Zara Tools and uh, TJ have worked together to create uh, a graphical overlay for the game that will help you with your roster building as well as combine it with the roster extractor capability ability so while you're playing the game and going through your roster you'll actually be pulling the information into uh, this app called mantis and it will store all that information for you and you can automatically upload it to msf.gg if you integrate it or you can create the json output and use that for your means to upload to various spreadsheets and other sources uh, so let's get into it the first thing you have to do is download it and the, play, the place to do that is either going to the link that that's below in the description or the Discord server for Zara Tools, which I'll also link down there. Uh, there's plenty of discussion, a lot of helpful guides, tips. People are always willing to you know, pitch in and answer questions there as well. So if you do get tripped up on anything, uh, it's a great place to be. It's a very good resource. Uh, I've been a part of that community for a very long time. They have probably thousands of members at this point, and uh, they just have all sorts of great resources and tools to help with uh, playing Marvel Strike Force and, and keeping up with uh, all the news and data mines and everything else you could think of. Uh, really, this tool is very simple. Uh, you download it, you install uh, the Microsoft.NET 5.0 core package, which will also be linked as part of the uh, <laughs> part of the description. And then you just open the app from your folder. So in mine down here, I have it in a folder here. It's called Mantis. It says application. Uh, it's got the little Mantis logo next to it. You open it up here and uh, basically it's just this app right here and it just kind of runs in the background and it'll keep gathering information on your roster as you go through it. Uh, one of the coolest things it does though is when I go into my roster here, like let's say I click on Proxima, it's going to give me this overlay and tell me what the community is currently doing with this character. So as far as tier fours go, it's saying that 62% of users that have uploaded their rosters that we can use for our, our purposes here have upload, uh, upgraded her uh, basic uh, Starless Strike to tier four, uh, level seven, right? So only 41% have done Star Throw, 40% have done Last Light, which is her alt, and 48% have done her passive. And that can be really useful information when you're trying to think about, you know, what, what tier fours are important for each one. That um, doesn't necessarily mean it's the best options for you. Uh, it could depend on your purposes. It could depend on what you're using them for. Uh, if you have the whole team that goes with them and all that, of course, there are things to consider. But this is a really nice way of saying, uh, hey, you know, this one's really important, or maybe it's not as important as you think before you go and hit that upgrade button and waste those uh, resources that you cannot get back. <laughs> uh, the other thing that's really neat is the ISO 8 class. Look over here. Um, on her, it's 67% have her as a skirmisher, while 20% have her as a uh, raider, 10% striker, 0.9% uh, on fortifier, and 0.9% on healer. Uh, that's really great because it kind of tells you that uh, two of those classes are probably not very useful at all unless it's a certain set of circumstances, in which case that is important. But this is a great way of uh, telling you what to think about a character and then think about how that might play into their uses with their team and how they would interact within the game and, and what they do. Uh, so this is a w just a quick view of it. Uh, I can click through my roster here and you'll see call, uh, same thing. You can see the tier four upgrade percentages, every, oh, almost everybody does his passive. And uh, most people, or more than half, have him as a striker, but a lot of people have him as fortifier as well. Um, so that's just kind of interesting. You can go through a lot of different characters here. Um, some are a lot more uh, controversial than others, I would say. <laughs> like you can see here, uh, you know, punch your passive. A lot of people have that, of course. Uh, but not very many people have his grenade launcher. Although you have to think that, uh, you know, with his changes just happening, that's probably going to change. So we may see this number tick up in the future. But as I'm going through my roster here, let me back out and go to uh, somebody else new that I haven't that I've upgraded recently, like say uh, Beast, right? 
I've been adding some levels to him uh, for Gamma Raid, right? It's grabbing this information. If you see down here, it shows Beast on this line here. It's grabbing his numbers, his stars, his power, all of his ability levels, gear tier. And it's even grabbing what pieces of gear I have equipped. And I really like that about this tool. Uh, it's not telling you, oh, he's just gear 12, right? It's saying gear 12 plus this piece and any others that would show up. And that's what these checkboxes are. It's also picking up his ISO 8 class what level they are, and uh, the number of shards and stars and everything that he has. And all of that is really useful information when you're building your roster out and trying to figure out what to do. And so this is a really useful tool for managing all of that because it brings it into msf.gg and that's what I want to show you next. So within this tool there's only a couple of tabs. So the roster character is just showing you what it's reading from the vi uh, from the game right now right it's just a visual reading and it's picking it up um, if you want to validate that it's working correctly you can use this to t see exactly what it's seeing uh, in case you see any discrepancies this could be a good way to go and check for bugs and that way when you need help on the discord you can provide a screenshot of it and show the screenshot of the game and see how they might mismatch or if there are any issues but if I go to setup, I have an msf.gg user ID. I also have a Zara tools key here. And if I get those from my, uh, if I go to my settings page in msf.gg over here, I can get both of those IDs, copy and paste them in here. And what that does is it enables an automatic upload to msf.gg whenever I hit the button over here. So on the actual game, there is now a new button called upload here and that's what mantis is putting into the overlay and when i hit that it's actually going to upload to msf.gg and it's saying now 10 10 of 10 characters that i've viewed have been uploaded uh next upload is available in five minutes so there is a timer on it you can't just keep hitting that button you know over and over again and, and you know sending a whole bunch of information over and over and over um but the the cool thing is is like now i know that's been updated. The other thing is, is if I go down here and let's say I look at somebody like, uh, where's Beast? Uh, he was something around 50K. There he is, 44K, right? So if I refresh my page on msf.gg, now he should show up as 51K. And so that's just one one tip. See, now he's 51K and it's picked up all his, uh, his up, updates. Uh, you do need to refresh the msf.gg roster page if you're already on it. So it's not going to refresh the page for you automatically, but you can just hit F5 and do that. It's very easy. So very cool that it picks up all this stuff. Um, this is really just the first few pieces of it. Uh, I think that there's going to be a lot more to it. Um, the power of this tool is uh, kind of unlimited at this point. If it can just read anything on the screen, you can imagine what else they could do with it. Um, one other thing to mention, they do have a manual export option uh, for the roster data. So once you've gone through your whole roster and clicked through it, uh, you can do the export to Groot option, which will create the JSON file. You just choose the folder that you want it to go in, you say select folder, and boom, there it goes. And then the file will be in wherever you select it. And you can grab that and you could use that to extract it to a spreadsheet uh, or upload it to your uh, Groot uh, roster organizer. Uh, either way, you know, however you want to use this, uh, you can do that and do the msf.gg upload. It's uh, it's pretty great. There's it just it's so simple and uh, it makes everything so much more streamlined. This is essentially the API we've all been looking for uh, for the most part to view our view our rosters from anywhere offline and through other sources and then use those sources to get more information such as you know gear planning for Dark Dimension uh, or maybe any other teams that we're working on or other goals that we have. So just to talk about a few things that uh, Zara shared with me before this uh, that they are thinking about doing in the near future. Uh, a couple of things that are kind of neat is uh, a blitz guide where it tracks your blitz wins and losses as well as other people's and it will give you an idea of okay so let's say you got aim versus you know whatever this team is or something like that um, the idea is that it could give an overlay that would say what are your chances of winning that matchup because they've seen it x number of times and there have been you know wins or losses based on the power discrepancies and all that uh, that would be amazing um, it's still a, that's just one of the things that they're looking at doing a couple other things that they're doing Doing is also win-loss tracking just to show like how many wins you have per you know session or maybe 
per blitz. Um, that could be really useful. I've thought about that too. I think that's a great idea because I'd love to know my progress on any blitz, right? And how I'm doing and uh, how many wins am I getting per rotation, you know, on average and how, how, how is my score shaping up compared to, uh, you know, what I would expect to be doing. Uh, a couple other options is uh, Warbot counters. So like as you see uh, teams in the war screen and the helicarrier, they're thinking about doing an overlay for that to uh, integrate with the Warbot to show counters. Uh, that would be amazing. I, I think that would be a really huge win uh, for the community if we could do that. Um, but of course, this is, you know, just features to come. <laughs> and then a couple other ideas is that uh, they want to grab war opponent stats. So you look at their profile page, it picks up their power and all that. And then when you're looking at them in the helicarrier and seeing their defense, it could overlay the power level there. So you can see, you know, if there's like a 10 million guy on the left, but only a 7 million guy on the right, maybe just to get through faster, it's e it'd be better to pick the 7 million guy and uh, go through there. And then the last thing that they're looking at is a drop rate calculator for gear and shard farming to kind of track the nodes and see what the percentage drops are for all of that stuff and give you an idea of, you know, how long it's going to take to farm, you know, X number of whatever gear or uh, character shards uh, for a specific purpose. So a lot of options they can do with this because they can essentially read anything from the game now, store it, and as long as they get the good data, they can give that back to us in a uh, easily to consume format that we can use to better ourselves, our rosters, and uh, improve our game play experience. And I think this is just awesome. It's called Mantis, and it stands for Mantis Adds New Tools in Strikeforce. <laughs> so uh, I'll put the links in the uh, description below. I know that uh, Zara is planning on blasting this out there to all the different uh, channels and everything, uh, Reddit and Discords and whatnot. So hopefully uh, you'll get a lot of information there. Uh, you can also track back to his Discord from all that. And uh, this is this is the future. This is it. This is our, this is our answer answer to the great API question and I think this is just awesome and uh, it's great to see communities like uh, Zara as well as msf.gg working together on something like this that's going to benefit so many people so uh, please take the time check it out uh, work with your alliances too if you use the uh, msf.gg site to you know manage your alliances for war purposes and raid planning and all that stuff this is going to make things so much easier for everybody uh, if you use the Gamora tool same thing you can just use the JSON output and upload to uh, that it's just there's so many so many options for this and I'm really excited to see where this goes so uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this if you have any questions please let me know uh, in the comments I may just direct you to Zara's uh, discord but <laughs> you can give it a shot I know a little bit about this I can help with it but uh, if not I'll point you in the right direction so thanks for watching Appreciate it. I'll see you later.